Welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the first video in IB Chemistry Topic 2, Atomic Structure, where we will be looking at atoms, isotopes and ions, and the mass spectrometer. Everything is made up of atoms, and atoms are the smallest part of any element. Each atom is composed of a dense, positively charged nucleus, surrounded by negatively charged electrons. The nucleus contains particles, called nucleons, of which there are two types, named protons and neutrons. Remember, if the atom is neutral, the number of protons and electrons is always equal. The electrons are found orbiting the nucleus, in regions of space known as orbitals. These orbitals are arranged into a hierarchy known as energy levels. This will be explored further in our second video in our IB Chemistry Topic 2 video series. When looking at the relative mass and charge of protons, neutrons and electrons, we can say that protons and neutrons have a relative mass of 1, and an electron, given that it is very small, has a relative mass of 1 over 2000, or 0 0.005. For relative charges, we say that the protons are positively charged, and so have a relative charge of plus 1. Neutrons are neutral, and so have a relative charge of 0, and electrons are negatively charged, and so have a relative charge of negative 1. As we can see, there are lots of components that make up atoms, so a set of notations are used to describe these components easily. Using x to denote any element, we can say that the mass number, given by the letter a, is equal to the number of nucleons, i.e. protons plus neutrons. The atomic number, given by the letter z, is equal to the number of protons. And the charge, given by the letter n, indicates the ionic state of the atom, equal to the difference of protons and electrons, i.e. protons minus electrons. So, if we were to use the example of sodium, we would say that Na has a mass number of 23, a proton number of 11, and, given it is a neutral atom, a charge of zero. Atoms can take on different forms, called isotopes and ions. Let's take a minute to define these two terms, as they come up very frequently. Isotopes are atoms that contain different number of neutrons, but the same number of protons and electrons. They therefore have the same atomic number, but a different mass number. Let's look at the example of carbon which is found as carbon-12 and carbon-14, among others. Carbon-12 has 6 neutrons, 6 protons and 6 electrons. Carbon-14 has the same number of protons and electrons, but 2 more neutrons, so 8 neutrons, 6 protons and 6 electrons. Remember, protons are what makes an atom a specific element, so two atoms with the same number of protons must be the same element. Many isotopes are considered radioactive, and are used in carbon dating, radiotherapy, or industrial uses such as tracing pipelines. Now let's look at ions. Ions are atoms that have lost or gained electrons to become positively or negatively charged. This means that the number of protons in an ion is not equal to the number of electrons. If an atom gains electrons, it becomes negatively charged, and if it loses electrons, it becomes positively charged. Let's look at the example of magnesium, which is found as the ion Mg2+. Magnesium-24 has an atomic number of 12, and a mass number of 24. So, it has 12 protons and 12 neutrons. As a neutral atom, the number of electrons equals the number of protons. Thus, it also has 12 electrons. 
Magnesium 2 plus is still magnesium, so it will still have 12 protons and 12 neutrons. However, it has a 2 plus charge, and so must have lost 2 electrons. Thus, the magnesium ion will only have 10 electrons. Now that you understand the definitions of isotopes and ions, let's quickly look at beryllium as one example to tie them all together. Beryllium-9 has an atomic number of 4 and a mass number of 9. Thus, it has 4 protons and 5 neutrons. As a neutral atom, the number of electrons equals the number of protons. Thus, it also has 4 electrons. An isotope of beryllium would have the same number of protons and electrons, but a different number of neutrons. So, beryllium-10 is an isotope of beryllium with one more neutron. An ion of beryllium would have the same number of protons and neutrons, but a different number of electrons. So, beryllium-2 plus is an ion of beryllium that has lost two electrons. A mass spectrometer is a device used to determine an element's relative atomic mass from its isotope composition. It works by firing high-energy electrons at a sample of an element to create unipositive ions. These are then sorted by size using electric and magnetic fields to produce a graph known as a mass spectrum. Along the x-axis is the mass or charge of the isotopes present within the sample and along the y-axis is the percentage abundance of each isotope. As discussed in our second video in IB Chemistry Topic 1, the relative atomic mass of an element is calculated by taking the relative atomic mass of the first isotope, multiplying by its percentage abundance, which is then summated with any remaining isotopes in the same way, before being divided by 100. You can therefore get all the information to calculate the relative atomic mass of an element from its mass spectrum. Let's look at an example. Calculate the relative atomic mass of lead using the mass spectrum and accompanying table. We can see in the mass spectrum that there are four main isotopes contained within this sample. 204, 206, 207 and 208. The percentage abundance of each isotope is provided in the table to the right. Therefore, using the formula, we can say that the relative atomic mass for lead would be the sum of each of the isotope's mass multiplied by their percentage abundance, divided by 100. This gives 207.2 grams per mole. Mass spectrometry will be explored in greater depth in topic 11 of the IB Chemistry syllabus during spectroscopic identification of compounds, especially for the higher level syllabus. We hope you enjoyed the first video in our IB Chemistry Topic 2 video series. Check out our notes, flashcards and questions on our website to reinforce your understanding from this video.